Okay, I'm gonna look at trying to fix a handle for dresser. That one was good, and this is the one that's not. Here we go. I'll show you this. It's missing one of the end pieces, so it no longer stays. So I'm gonna try and make a new one. Now with a handle that hasn't been broken off on the end. Like this one has an end broken off. Get one that hasn't been broken off. We'll use that to help form a new piece. I'm going to use a scrap piece of plywood. Just drawing out an area a little bit larger than the piece that I want to make a mold of. And uh, I've got paint stir sticks, which I've got left over from paint that I've bought in the past and didn't use all those stir sticks. And I cut one off to the same size length for the ends. And now I'm going to use a glue gun. We'll turn that on and heat up. Started gluing up the side pieces from this mold. Put a bead along the cracks. Got that set up. Once it's set up, we'll be able to spray the inside of this with the mold release. Probably shouldn't do this inside, but we also want to spray the piece that we're going to mold with the same. When we get that ready, we'll fill our mold with silicone to an appropriate level. I would imagine it's going to take pretty much this entire tube. Make this mold, and you'll notice that we've gone out far enough past the edges of the piece to make it stable. Okay, time to take it out of the mold. I actually took it out of the mold ahead of time, but forgot to put it on film. So I put it back in, and we just simply take it back out again. But uh, what you can do, if you want to make it easy on yourself, is just break your mold apart. 
Then you just peel it up. Make it easy on yourself. And then once you get to that, that'll be even easier. You can just peel your mold off. Um, of course, it had a little bit of overtop when I was uh, doing it, but I peeled it away. Um, and there's the piece back out, which we're going to make a mold from this now. Um, not much. This one really glued down. Anyway, uh, we make, we'll use this to mold our new handles. Okay, now I'm going to make an outline. of the piece here that we're trying to mold. And I'm marking accurately the length here with these straight lines will be where the ends. I'm going to use a stiff piece of wire. Possibly an old coat hanger, or I think I've got some welding rods in the garage. I might go get one of those. So I'll mark this out, and I'll make the, a line that I want to follow that will put this wire. I'll bend the wire to follow along inside of this line that I make so it stays in the thicker parts of the handle from the mold. This probably doesn't have to be exact, but... There we go with that, and then we'll get a piece of wire and try and bend it to make it fit. Okay, so now I got a welding rod. I've taken the flux off of it. This is a 1 8 inch 70 18 rod. I don't know if that makes a difference, um, but it is a 1 8 inch. It's about the size of a, of a metal coat hanger, which probably would work just as well. I'm going to bend this with pliers. If you have a vise, that will make life a lot easier for you. bend over a little bit. Seems to be a little too close to that end. And we'll straighten it up going the other way. So it'll lay flatter. Thank you. 
That's where I add those lines I had drawn earlier for the length of the entire piece. So now that I've got this bent, it should be inside of the molded area. And it should turn out okay, hopefully. So let's cut, cut that off. I've got a cutter on the side of these flares. So you don't have that. Maybe you have a hacksaw or even just a hacksaw blade. Okay, so now our mold has been been sprayed with mold release spray. It doesn't really matter which brand you use, I think, but as long as it works with the material you're using. We'll put the metal reinforcement into the mold. Make sure it's in there fully. And this time you could adjust it if you wanted to sit a little flatter, you can make small adjustments to your wire. So that it will sit in nicely. And then just kind of see where it's where it's at. Make sure that you're going to get a little bit of, of the material around it in the mold everywhere it goes through. It looks like it's pretty good. I probably could have done a little better job of bending the wire, but we'll see how this turns out. And we want to mix up some material to pour in our mold. I'm going to use a simple disposable cup that some people have in their washrooms. And we're using a two-part um, plastic type material. Um, I the label on this is, this one is mix equal parts. Labels are faded away on me, but I've used it to make other things. Um, I imagine there's other brands available. Uh, this one is a smooth cast. And uh, yeah, it's a two part epoxy, I believe they call it. And then you just, you, you mix these up and then you pour equal amounts in. I'm going to do pour in approximately that much. And then I will pour in. I have it gauged on the side a little bit here. I'll pour in approximately the same amount again. This product sets up in three minutes, so you need to mix it thoroughly. And I'm using a toothpick, so the batch is very small. this a little bit. This product seems to avoid putting bubbles in your project so I've had good luck with it on other things. And it doesn't give off a lot of odors. that set up.
product is setting up. It starts to get a little bit warm from chemical reaction. You can see that in my little mixing cup it is quite solid already. Okay, we will let it sit long enough to set up. We'll move some stuff out of the way. We'll remove the piece from the mold and see how well it turned out. And you can see it turned out not too bad. It appears to be pretty good. We have a little bit that we need to trim off. a knife here that I use for projects in the house. So we'll give this a little trim before this has enough time to fully cure because it gets quite hard. And you can see that my knife goes through this, even though it's not that sharp of a knife, it goes through this relatively easy. I won't say it's not a sharp knife, but it's not the sharpest knife we have. Still sharp enough to cut myself, so. Cut away a bit of the Excess bits. See some of the wires are some of the wires exposed in some spots where it came close to the surface. I guess if you did a little better job of bending it, you could make that a lot less. But I don't think it's gonna make a difference. In the end. Now there we have our piece that we molded against a an unbroken handle. And I got carried away and this is not the first one I molded. So I made another one and I've painted it. I sprayed it with a spray can. Thought I had a enamel paint. And then I went over it with just latex paints like you can get at the dollar store. And I used a black and a gold and a brown and was able to color match it fairly close I won't say exact but fairly close so now I can replace that handle that's been broken here's an example of a repair I did previously using a brazing rod it seems to be holding if you notice, this side of the handle and this side of the handle, this this side here is slightly smaller. It's clo it, it closed in on me. It warped with the heat from the brazing. 
the mold I made would have helped to keep the shape of of this handle while I was doing the brazing. Um, and here's the handle that I built. This is one that I've molded and painted. And you can see from here, they look very similar. <laughs>